love dwelleth in God and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we, have, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. That we may be weak. That we may be scared. That we may run and hide. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, how is he? See, this is going to mess up people teaching and doctrine. It say, as he is. How is he? How is God? He's perfect. Uh-huh. He's holy. He's righteous, right? See, the scriptures say, as he is, so are what? We in what? No, when we go to heaven. He say, in this world. And the reason we can be like he is in this world is because his spirit is impregnated in us. He lives on the inside of us. How can we go out and tell somebody, I'm walking around with a great God on the inside of me. He's in my spirit. Everywhere I go, he's there. But yet I can't stop sinning. Oh, I'm a shadow of false doctrines. We're going to tear this mess down that because... You want to preach this down to a doctrine that nobody can do right. Nobody can live right. Oh, everybody doing something. No, you want to say that because when your hand get caught in the cookie jar, well, everybody doing something. No, that's a lie. You got to be determined to do what's right. You got to be determined to let the Holy Spirit dwell on the inside of you. You got to be determined to walk like God and talk like God and act like God. Not letting anything turn you to the left or the right. You can't compromise with sin. You ain't got to be among the, the majority. The Bible says it's only a remnant anyway. Broad is the way to destruction. But narrow is the way that's leading to righteousness. Everybody on the wrong road. You got more people going to hell. The Bible says hell is enlarging itself daily. Because everybody believes in a lie. Oh, well, it don't take all of that. Oh, why don't she shut up? It's time to go. I got to go to work tomorrow. I got to go to school. What if he don't breathe in you to let you get up to go to no places? No, we got this thing wrong. We want to shortchange God. But I'm going to help you all in here to learn how to be glad about the word. Learn how to want the word. Because when you want the word, you want God. Stop letting everything else be more prevalent over God. Stop letting everything else be more important, more excited than God and his word. Something is wrong with that. It makes me wonder, where is your God? Can't even stay awake. But you don't sleep in school. You don't sleep on a job or you'll get fired. But you take God. Meekness for weakness. And when you get in trouble, who you call? Oh, Lord, have mercy. For what? God is so faithful. Because if we were God, you know what we would do. But we don't look at stuff like that. Come on, saints. Don't get, cut up, don't get caught up with the status quo. I don't care who else doing it. Learn to love God. Learn to love his word. Amen. Know what it's doing for you. Know that it's working. Don't get caught up in the madness. Stop acting like God's word is some kind of depressing force. The word is life. The word brings answers. The word brings revelation. The word blesses and heals. The word brings deliverance. Be excited about getting the word. A day going to come when you can't get it. Get excited about the word. Oh, you know the Holy Spirit just told me to say, the same way you get excited about sex. 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 Uh-huh. I didn't say intimacy, sex. Because some of y'all don't even know what intimacy is. That's why you can't be intimate with God. Sex. You know how you get excited when you get a little bim bam? Mm. Oh, he told me to say it. Yeah, we get all excited with the flesh. Oh, I'm going to meet Johnny by the water tonight. Get my groove on tonight. Get your groove on with God. And make sure you grooving with your own husband. Or your own wife. No, it's real. 
You want to patty cake with God. And come and act like we come into some kind of fairy tale land or some kind of storytelling time. Oh, we coming to get something that's going to save our lives out there. It's crazy in them streets. We need divine protection now. More than ever before. We need God. So we need to let him know that we are serious about that. We need to let him know that there is nothing in life more important. That's why I love Job so much. See, everybody got to, I love David because he was a praiser. I love to see a man praising God. But Job say, I love you more than my necessary food. That's deep. When we going to get like that? When we going to start flaunting? Mm, I'm going to keep y'all right there. When we going to start flaunting? When I say flaunting, pretending we in love with God, but yet we don't want to be bothered with him, only at certain times. Let him know that it's all about him. Let him know he's your boo. Let him know you body body, Lord. Let him know that he's your homie. Let him know that there's nothing in this world that can compare to you. See, when you do that all the time with God, when you come to the house of God, you are so hungry for the word of God that nothing can keep you on your seat from God. Instead of you sitting there like you at a movie show, I ain't here to entertain you. I'm here to help you. I'm here you to keep them demons and the monkeys from off your back. I'm here to help you to keep your body and your mind healed. I'm here to give you some directions for your life. But I also want you to get the revelation of who Jesus is, what he did, the cost that he had to pay, the price he paid for your life. Stop being comfortable with these patty cake and sermonettes and you get satisfied and go home and you still struggling. Let's get empowered for God. That no matter what is going on around us, we're able to stand. We don't compromise. We don't side up with it. We lift up a standard and we obey it. But this word says, so are we in this world. Close it out. Are y'all embracing this tonight? Amen. See, you got to experience it in order to understand where I'm coming from. You, you got to understand it. You got to have an experience. See, if you never experienced it, then you, you think I'm crazy. Because you never experienced it. But when you experience this thing, woo, it's awesome. Sex, crack, marijuana, Percocet, Percodan, Darvacet, Hycodan. Cools, Winston, whatever is out there now, Harp and Gator, Slits, Malt, Liquor, Budweiser, whatever, can't touch the power of God. It can't compare to the high. It can't compare to the peace, the feeling. I can't even stress it enough. It can't compare. Somebody going to get this tonight. I believe somebody got this tonight. Uh huh. There is no fear in love. There's no fear. If you got some fear, you better get out the relationship. That's a sign right there. Love don't make you be fearful. Love will make you fall back in them arms, pull your wig off, and everything else, and relax. They, you let them see who you're. Re- no, it's real. When you shame to let somebody see, first of all, all this in false stuff, and and nobody don't really know who the world you are. But when you in love, you don't, and the person love you. You exposing yourself. So you got to be transparent like God was. You don't mind snatching whatever off. This is me. They going to love you for you. Am I right? You know what I'm talking about, Deep. You know what I'm talking about, Real. You got to be going through. You know what I'm talking about. No. See, love ain't going to have you scared. Love ain't going to have you saying, ooh, if I take this wig off, he ain't going to want me no more. If I don't wear no makeup, uh, maybe he ain't going to call me. 
if, if I ain't got no job, she ain't gonna want to be bothered with me. No, 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 love don't look at all that kind of stuff. No, 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 no. See, when it's real love, that God kind of love, that's why y'all can fall out under the power. See, when he touch you, just, you just fall out. See, and that's how it's supposed to be in a relationship. There's no fear. You're not scared. You're not trying to check the cell phones. You're not trying to follow them in your car. You're not trying to... Let's read. We're going to teach on that one day. I'm, I'm, I'm going to help the brothers and the sisters out. So you can rest in peace. Then you stop hooking up with the wrong people. And then you ain't got to be tossing and turning all night, wondering if he and Sally's bad. And you ain't got to be waiting at the door, brother man, trying to check up under to see or sniff or whatever. No, it's real because they do it. No, 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 no. Y'all want to get on your jobs and talk real. Uh huh. But see, that's what the house of God is for. It's a holistic book. Or must I go to Ecclesiastic where we talk about the breasts? Uh huh. Don't act like y'all shame up in here and then you get out there and act like trifling hooligans. No, it's real. No, it's real. Get the truth and apply it, and then you'll stop making all these bad mistakes. Because ain't nobody else teaching you. Ain't nobody else telling you. Hooking up with the wrong somebody. And you standing at the door waiting. Oh, I'm going to see. Where you been? Take you that long. Who you been with? Let me call and see. She was with you, Sister Kiwana. Y'all know how it go. But that ain't love. There is no fear in love. So you in a relationship like that, you better get out of it. I'm telling you right now. You better exit yourself and say, Lord, I thank you for this scripture. Uh Uh-huh. But perfect love casts out fear. Because fear hath torment. He that fears is not made perfect in love. See, when you don't have no love, that's why you're fearful. See, the word of God say fear has torment. You be tormented at night. You be tossing and turning. You be going through. Them demons be messing with your head. You have no peace. All this confusion. You just don't, you just, it's like a wrestle, like a tug of war. But when you rest in God and God is in you, you can relax in him. You got the peace that passes all understanding. And ain't nothing nobody can do about it. See, love is demonstrated, not spoken. It's an action word. You can say you love somebody all you want. If you don't do nothing to show that love, just shut your mouth. How you love that woman and you can't buy nothing for her? How you love that man and you keep shoe flying him? Something wrong with that. That ain't love. Love shows itself. You can't tell me you love me and you can't do nothing for me. No, it's real. Y'all get this tonight. Stop accepting all these trifling conversations. Oh, baby, you know you fine. You fine as all get out. Oh, I ain't never seen nobody like you before. Heaven must be missing an angel. And it's you. It's you, baby. It's you. And y'all believe this mess. No, y'all, come on. It's real. This is why there's so much divorce and domestic violence and this craziness. Because y'all falling into this foolishness. Real love don't have you like that. Somebody, you the finest thing got and you know somebody finer than you. You believe in this. Who I ain't never met nobody like you. I say, Lord, some of the lines people fall for. Ooh, Jesus. I need to write me a book. Hook up lines. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell all y'all ladies, go buy that man book. Um, Steve Harvey. Uh-huh. Yeah, going to help you out. Then we're going to have real relationships, and then people are going to see that God is real. Amen? Amen. Then you're going to hold yourself and wait and stop jumping with every kangaroo come along. Read. We love him. That's male and female. Uh huh. Kangaroos, male and female. 
got real quiet then, uh-huh. Y'all think it just ain't just the men. Uh, you got some women's worse than men. I'm going to leave that one alone. Come on. That's a subject all by itself. Amen. <laughs> Playing games. Jeopardy. Mm-hmm. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. Y'all got this? Amen. Amen. If you hate your brother or your sister or whoever, and you say you love God, you are a liar and the truth is not in you. Uh-huh. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God loveth his brother also. How can you see me every day or whenever you see me and say you don't love me? And here there's God who you can't see, but yet you love him. Remember I was saying earlier, how do you know it's a God? How can you recognize that there's a God? How can you sit by somebody and don't like them and say you love and know God? Something is wrong with that. See, we're going to get love in the house. We're going to get love not only in the church house, but we're going to get love in our own house. And when I say in our own house, I'm talking about this house. Because once you get love in your own house, in your own self, you're able to share this love to somebody else. See, that's why people don't understand love no more because love then came in some strange forms. See, one day they say, I love you, and the next day they're killing you. One day I love you, and the next day I'm beating you. One day I love you, and the next day I'm robbing you. One day I love you, the next day I'm cussing you out. See, so people don't really know what love really is. So they're accepting that love is crazy. And then when the real thing comes, they're rejecting it because, oh, it's just too good to be true. No, it's like it gets scary to them. They haven't seen it. No, leave me alone. No, something wrong with you. You gay. Let me talk to you, son. You know what I'm talking about. No, it's real. When the man come with real love, you can't. Let the man love you. Just because the other five beat you upside your head. Come on. Everybody ain't got to hit you. Oh, come on. Somebody hear me tonight. This is what's going on. And they get scared of the real thing. You, you know what I'm talking about, daughter? It's true. And they think it's a setup. That's why you got to know God. You got to know the love of God. So when the real love come, you'll know how to embrace it. Don't tell the man or the woman something. They done lost it and done bumped their head. No. They trying to God have sent you what he wants you to have. He is sending you what you need. He's trying to give you what you didn't have before. But instead of you embracing it, you pushing it away. Come on and give God some praise. There's nobody in here like that. Everybody in here know real love when they see it. Everybody in here don't want to be black-eyed and knocked up against their head. Everybody in here want their men to be gentlemen. Pull their chairs out for them. Open their car doors. Ooh. Y'all don't know about all of that? No, Apostle, I open my own door. See, this is why we don't have no more gentlemen. See, that women, women's lib came along. They want to be police officers, loan showmen, construction workers, <laughs> everything. They, they don't want to be in the kitchen and the house no more. They, they want to be with the man. See, and, and this is what done messed up the world. Yeah, I heard one of y'all open my own door. Well, that's your business. I want mine open. 
That's your business. I'm going to sit right there. He come around and he might not have it in the beginning, but I'm going to sit right there. But he'll get it after a while. Ain't that right, Deke? Yeah, we got to bring gentlemen back. Men want to be gentlemen. They want to love the women, but y'all... Try- Like with the spirit. But we don't have that in here. We have godly women in here. We have godly men in here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just repeat after me, everybody. I just feel like just saying this unto the Lord. Let everybody repeat after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent of everything that I've said and done against your will. Knowingly. And unknowingly, willingly and unwillingly, I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord. I accept you into my heart. I accept you as Lord of my life because I do believe in your sacrifice. I believe you died, was buried, and rose on the third day that I, little old me, the throwaway, the one they call nobody, Nothing, but you died for me too. That I might have a right to eternal life. And I thank you, Lord, for saving me. I thank you for blessing me. And I thank you that you're going to keep me. Come on and give God some praise. (laughs) Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anybody here that was your first time saying that? Your first time? How old are you? 14. Who are you here with? Hallelujah. You realize what you just did? Come up. You realize what you just did? When you said that? No, what you just did is ask Jesus to be your Lord, to come into your heart, which means you are saved. So if you get big, you might be 50 years old. And somebody say, are you saved? Yeah, you probably did some wrong from now to 50, but you're still saved because you gave your life to the Lord. You asked him to come into your heart. And we're going to ask the Lord to fill you with his spirit and endow you with power from on high. That he will keep you and protect you and shield you from all danger and harm. That a hedge of protection will be around you in the schoolhouse, on the playground, in the car, wherever you go. And that the hand of the enemy have stopped against you because you are, you are part of the body of Christ now. You may not understand it all. You may go out here and cut the food and do whatever you want to do, but you're still saved. Don't let nobody take that from you. Just remember on this day, April 22nd, you gave your life to Jesus, and you are saved. You're going to go to heaven, and you're going to be with him, and hell can't have you. And you're going to live the life of God because the Holy Spirit that's in you is going to help you. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord wonderful. Souls added to the kingdom. See, and I thank God for the youth, the children too, because see, they are the ones that the enemy is coming after to destroy because they are the church for tomorrow. Even at their age in the school, they're taking them out and things are happening. But I thank God for this, his divine protection over you all's life and that salvation has been brought to your home. Your parents... You know the parents? They're saved? Well, if not, if not, they'll say, I, I, don't, I don't even know now. Hallelujah. Some things ain't. Yes. To God be the glory. But they'll uh, be a light at their age so that the parents will be brought in. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So everybody is saved tonight. You're saved, daughter. If you didn't know it, you're saved tonight. You know that, son? Hallelujah. Thank God for you being here. I ain't lost it. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. 
Your face looks familiar, too. You been here before? Huh? Oh, at the hotel. Oh, okay, you found it. Look at God. To God be the glory. Thank God for your coming, being back with us. No better place for you to be but in the house of the Lord. And because of your obedience, God going to work some things out on your behalf, too. Because you're seeking some things, and he's going to give you the answer to it. Don't worry. Just hold fast. Just hold fast. See, one thing for you, you got to learn how to just let some things go and let God handle it. Yeah, because a lot of times we like to handle things, you know, ourselves. But God knows how to handle it better on our behalf. And he's going to work everything out for your good. Just keep your focus, okay? Stay on course. Stay on course. Hallelujah. Thank God for your daughter. What's your name? Jolene, did you enjoy the service tonight? Huh? Good. I'll get to see you again. Hallelujah. That means yes? Hallelujah. Come on and bless God. <laughs> Glory be to God. Glory be to God. See, we're not the traditional, usual church. If you believe in the truth and the word of God, you'll find it here. We don't know no other way. I don't know no other way. And if there are some things which I'm sure that you're seeking for, for the peace of God, the blessings of God, the rest are sure. If you will continue on the journey that he has just placed you on, all those things shall be added unto you. You don't have to concern yourself no more as to whether it's going to be. I'm telling you, it shall be on your behalf. The struggle is over. You believe it? Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. <laughs> Dick, you got something you want to say before we go? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank God for you too, daughter. That was your first time saying that? It was? So you heard what I told the young man? Who you came with? Oh, okay. Praise the Lord. Have you ever thought about giving your life to the Lord? You did? But this is the first time you said that, uh, that prayer. You didn't mind saying it? You enjoyed the service? Let me give you a handshake and some love. You two are part of the kingdom of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at the youth coming forth. That's all right. Father, in Jesus' name, you know what? All the youth, the young ones, just... Can't. Yeah, let me, let me pray for y'all.
Anybody before we dismiss? Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Hallelujah. Father, you have something you want to say? Oh, okay. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, I thank you for the word tonight. And I thank you that the word has failed in good soil. It has taken a root and they have a clearer understanding about their walk, their life, their faith, and everything that you have promised them. They shall receive it in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, they will continue to go forward in you and you will begin to manifest yourself to them, to let them see that you are real. You're concerned about them. You're concerned about their well-being. You're concerned about their health, their prosperity, and everything that they do, you're concerned about it, Father. I thank you that from this day forward, they will begin to trust you to the utmost in the name of Jesus. They will not sway in their faith. They will not look to the left or the right, but they will keep their focus, their eyes on the prize. In the name of Jesus, they will come to you more more in prayer and supplication they will seek you lord like never before they will be prosperous in the areas in their families in their community everything they are doing in in the name of jesus shall be a blessing in jesus name father i thank you that the spirit of the lord is raising up in them like never before that they will come forth and be overcomers and victorious and win at hand in every situation i thank you that they will understand their tests their trials the tribulation and everything that come up against them they would know that you are right there in the midst with them. And you would never leave them or forsake them. I bind accident, incidents, any complications whatsoever. Fiery darts, stray bullets, knives, whatever plots or plan the devil would have concocted against them. I stop it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I decree and I declare the victory in every area of their lives. And I pray for everybody that's on the board in the name of Jesus in every situation. I decree and I declare the miracles will come forth. They shall be manifest speedily in the name of Jesus every curse shall be reversed off of their lives they shall be set free by the power of the almighty God I thank you Lord for giving them a mindset of you they shall change in their mindset they will change in their walk and in their talk they shall be blessed according to your divine will and order every situation that's on that board Lord shall be answered Lord whatever the need is they shall receive it in Jesus name I thank you that they will get the answer to every question the solution to every problem problem everything that's been laying dormant everything that's been stagnated and trying to hold back I command it to be loose to them right now in the name of Jesus loose your whole Satan and set it free and let it go I come against the spirit of Pergamos the one that came against the prayer that Daniel sent up and God sent back I break your power tonight in the name of Jesus and everybody under the sound of my voice shall prosper be in good health even as their soul shall prosper and they will receive the blessings of the Lord for he get making them rich and he add no sorrow and I thank you for every job every promotion every financial situation everything that they need every car every house every companion whatever they need under the sound of my voice I touch and agree with heaven that you shall receive it in the name of Jesus I bless you I thank you I love you and to God be the glory and may God be magnified in Jesus name now let the church say Everybody say, everybody say, amen, amen. Sing it for the family, sing it for the you.